what is going on i have words so today we got a video an interesting video here uh and i've already seen it but it's going to talk to you about how much ice do you need to eat to lose one pound a week that's right one whole pound a week by eating ice alone now get ready because uh this gentleman here brian young and d he's gonna do the math for you and uh he's gonna let you know the exact amount of what of, of of ice that you need to eat so without any further ado let's go ahead and uh <laughs> and uh, take a look at this video here we go it's dr brian with a quick question does eating ice make you lose weight since ice has no calories eating ice forces your body to burn calories by melting the ice but let's see how much ice you'd need to eat to heat one liter of ice to body temperature, it takes about 37 kilocalories. To lose one pound a week, you'd need to burn about 500 kilocalories per day. After some quick math, that's almost 14 liters of ice. That's about 60 cups of ice every day for seven days. Unfortunately, in real life, it would actually take a lot more ice than that since our body conserves energy as we cool down. So enjoy ice as it is. Don't bother eating it for weight loss or you'd probably freeze yourself to death first. Okay, so uh, there you have it. 60 cups and not even, I mean, if, if you just go off of the surface level uh, understanding of the amount, of the the temperature that that would require to to melt the ice and the calories that get burned and all of that stuff, but then you have to also factor in the resilience of your body or the adaptation of your body and what they do. They tend to conserve energy. They tend to do different things. The metabolic adaptation of that adaptive, adaptive thermogenesis. So there's so many different things that your body does to kind of prevent things from being so linear, especially in the sense of like uh, using the uh, the calories consistently uh, to burn ice. So even the 60 might be multiplied um, after just even a, a few days. So it's not even a viable thing first of all you, you know you can't you know you can't eat 60 cups of ice you, you know you can't eat that that that's just way way too much and then you couple that with the fact that your body's gonna start conserving energy anyways it, it's just uh there's no need to do it there's no reason to do it the best thing to do is some cardio maybe some intermittent fat intermittent fasting um this channel is perfect for that if go ahead hit go ahead and hit subscribe if you want to know about how to lose weight uh with uh exercise um with intermittent fasting because on here that that's what you know we break the science down for uh for that stuff and, and we've been doing it for over eight years on this channel so um, you're in a you're in a really good spot for real weight loss and how to do it uh, effectively. I know a lot of people want the 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 easy route, the let's turn that corner, let's cut that corner route, and uh, do stuff like ice hacks to to try to lose weight. But it's just they're not viable tactics. They're not viable tactics, and they're not long term tactics. I mean, they're not short term or long term tactics. Um, so they're, they're not going to help you. Uh, so hopefully, um, you guys see that when it comes to these ice hack stuff and, uh, and you guys, uh, focus on the things that do work things like, you know, intermittent fasting and, 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 you know, the, these kind of, uh, uh, diets and, and regimens until the next one, guys, this is Edward from Fledge Fitness. Hit that like, hit that subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out guys. I got to click this button, though, before I leave because it's not going to turn off if I don't. Peace.